Some breaking news at five, a major earthquake hits off the coast of Jamaica around two this afternoon. Our Lauren St. Germain joining us now in studio. Lauren, people reported feeling this all the way in South Florida. That's exactly right. So this video is from Miami around 3.30 this afternoon. You see some people chose to evacuate the tall buildings. There are no signs of physical damage at this point, but fire rescue teams are inspecting buildings as we speak. So this is video someone took in Miami inside of his apartment. You can see the lights swaying back and forth, and this is pretty typical of the video we're starting to see on social media from South Florida. So right now we're waiting to get more information about injuries or damage on the islands. The earthquake hit just south of Cuba and northwest of Jamaica, kind of right where this the big yellow dot is. It was a magnitude 7.7 .7 quake, which is considered major and can cause some pretty serious damage. So we're also starting to get some video out of Jamaica this evening. Right here, this is staff at a school in Kingston helping students just as they do in earthquake drills get outside into the parking area. Again, so far, no reports of injuries or major damage. But let's send things over to Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips. And Dennis, there are now several aftershocks happening. Yeah, Lauren, there are. And let's set the record straight here. This is your center right now, pretty much equidistant between Cuba, the Caymans, and Jamaica. So fortunately, it landed in a place where there was really no land very close to where the epicenter was. It went down about six miles. Very fortunate because 7.7 .7 is massive. That is a huge earthquake. There will be aftershocks for weeks. Now, interestingly enough, it is not on the same fault line that caused the Puerto Rican earthquakes over the last couple of weeks. Totally separate fault. But as we said, there's your center. There were the concerns about tsunami, maybe a three or four foot rise in water. At this point, we haven't heard that. And, and truthfully, if we haven't by now, we're not going to. The threat of tsunamis usually only last about a half hour, maybe 45 minutes away. This is one of those aftershocks that Lauren mentioned. This is 4.9 just east of Grand Canyon at about 18 miles. Now, we obviously think about it here in the Bay Area because a lot of our cruise ships go from Tampa right to Grand Cayman or right to Jamaica. So again, this is certainly an area where a lot of folks from the Bay Area could be. But if you look at the bigger picture right now, this is just where we're talking about. But that fault does go into southern Cuba as well. So bottom line, I would expect more aftershocks, nothing close to that main 7.7. .7. And as always, we'll be continue to monitoring it 24-7. Wendy? All right, thanks, Dennis.